Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the design and simulation of class B amplifier. We, we will understand how will you design class B amplifier, what is class B amplifier, why do we need class B amplifier. We will also understand the limitation of class A amplifier and we will also understand what is the crossover distortion in class b amplifier as you see this waveform right so friends if you are new to this channel please join the channel membership and please support the betterment for this youtube channel right so let us understand first what is the limitation of class a amplifier okay so we have already seen understood the simulation and design of class a amplifier in in our last video now this video will understand what is the limitation of class a amplifier why do we need class b amplifier then later we will understand the design of class b amplifier then we'll i'll run the simulation and i'll show you the different voltage current waveform of class b amplifier right so let us first understand the limitation of class a amplifier okay so low efficiency in the class a amplifier it has low efficiency less than 30 percent it has smaller output power in class a amplifier higher standby current when no input is present due to the dc biasing of class a amplifier higher load current when there is a no input present due to the q point or bias point of class a amplifier and due to this you need additional heat sink in class a amplifier for transistor right now let us understand about the class b amplifier okay so in order to increase the efficiency what we have seen in class a amplifier was 30 percent in order to increase the efficiency we need class b amplifier in order to increase the standby consumption or no load consumption we need to use class b amplifier okay so in class b amplifier the transistor is biased at the cutoff region if you see here this this circuit here you can see this is the cutoff region this is the linear region and this is the saturation region and here you can see the transistor is biased at this cutoff region okay at this q point you can see here the q point is in between the cutoff region and linear region okay so this is the q point and it comes under the cutoff region this is the cutoff region and here you can see this is the cutoff region this is the linear region and your q point is placed at between linear region and the cutoff region okay so what happens is due to this since your transistor is operating at this point you can see if this is your collector current ic versus the plot between vce like that you can see you have the zero volt zero collector current at this point okay you have the zero collector current so that is why if the you have zero collector current and zero collector to emitter voltage you have very less output power when when there is a no input is present also if there is very less standby power if there is a no input is present so you can see it has biased at zero by dc biasing level transistor conducts when base to emitter voltage is greater than vb so this is the limitation of class b amplifier i'll explain later while i i'll be explaining the crossover distortion why the why there is a crossover distortion so this is the reason transistor conduct when the base to emitter voltage is greater than the 0.7 volt or vb at zero input as i have already told you will get the zero output no output power is consumed right no output power in is consumed if you have zero input 180 degree conduction i'll explain this 70 percent of efficiency here you can see increased efficiency and as i said 
180 degree of conduction so you can see this is the proper sine wave for 360 degree and you can see this yo amplifier amplify class b amplifier amplify only the positive signal here this plus and it won't amplify the negative signal that is why here we say it is 180 degree conduction amplifier okay because this negative signal falls under the cutoff region and whatever signal is in the cutoff region class b amplifier won't pass anything okay whatever signal in your linear region you can see this signal this year the positive cycle it will amplify your your signal right so in order this is the limitation of class b amplifier because it conducts for 180 degree it won't conducts for 360 degree in class a amplifier class a amplifier conducts for 360 degree due to the biasing of class a amplifier right now how will you overcome this uh, the the clipping of this negative negative cycle so you can see you need this is your input signal with positive and both negative cycle and in order to amplify the negative cycle as well you need to you since your q point is at this point the between linear and cutoff region and you can see this signal the half of the signal falls in linear region and half of the signal falls in cutoff region that is why it is clipping the uh, this negative signal so in order to amplify this negative signal as well you need to use the push pull configuration of npn trans npn and pnp transistor you can see this is npn transistor this is pnp transistor this npn transistor amplify your positive signal of your audio audio waveform and your pnp transistor is amplify your negative signal and at the end you can see this is amplified positive signal and this is amplify pnp is amplified to the negative signal and at the end you see the pure sine wave okay this is the pure sine wave and as i have shown in the simulation you can see there we have some crossover distortion i'll later i'll explain okay so hope you have until now you have understood what is the limitation in class a amplifier and why do we need class b amplifier and what is the class b amplifier these are all things i i just wanted to show you now let's directly go in the class b amplifier design and simulation and let me show you the different waveforms you can see this is the basically the input signal sinusoidal with the amplitude of 3k 3 volt and the frequency is 1 kilohertz here right and then this is the coupling capacitor again you can see this is the complementary and pn and pnp transistor the base are tied together and connected to the input signal and you can see this is the biasing of your transistor r1 and r2 you can see they are biased at the output you can see again i have connected one capacitor and this goes to the load and the power supply for this class b amplifier is 12 volt now let me run the transient analysis and let me show you the output waveform okay so what i'll do is i'll go here i'll child window vertically so you can see both signal here right so this is your input signal let me the add two three plot pane okay so this is the your input signal but let me show you the input signal so this is the input signal right and let me show you the output signal or load signal so you can see that is how your load signal looks like and this is your load current now you can see here your your waveform output waveform is distorting okay this is because of the conduction of npn and pnp transistor once the npn transistor conducts the voltage below 0.7 the np transistor won't come. so this is the limitation of class b amplifier your output signal is not exact the replica of your input signal you can see some crossover distortion here and later we will understand how will you overcome the the crossover distortion of class b amplifier okay now let me show you some other things now let me show you the input current how your input current look like let me show you some base current here maybe so this is your ibq let me show you the base current for this transistor uh, 
so you can see your ib q1 and your ib q2 the apo both are in the opposite polarity now let me try to show you the the collector current this is still iv here if i click here what i'll get it should be the in the this iv1 and you can see this is the iv2 okay okay now this is let us say ic2 the current flowing through this the emitter of this q1 and the collector of this q2 okay this is how you can the current looks like okay so hope guys you have understood the design and simulation of class b amplifier in alt spice and you have also understood what is the class b amplifier why do we need class b amplifier if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video